Hello, I'm Vasiliki Bravis and I'm a consultant in diabetes with Imperial College Healthcare. Apologies for any noise that you may hear. We're in a working hospital with some works going on. Most people may or may not have heard of different medications that we use in the management of type 2 diabetes. Most commonly you may hear uh, words like metformin, SGLT2 inhibitors, DBP4 uh, inhibitors, GLP analogs, and of course insulin. The reason why we use medications uh, in parallel with lifestyle changes is to try and achieve lowering of blood glucose levels in the bloodstream, but also support people to lose weight. When we lose weight, we become less insulin resistant and that also helps with uh, glucose management. Insulin, which a lot of people may know about in the management of diabetes, can be avoided when we're managing uh, people with type 2 diabetes. It is very important to work with your doctors and your healthcare professionals early in your diagnosis both combining lifestyle changes and medications that are on offer as early control can improve quality of life and can keep you well for many years. For many people, a diagnosis of type 2 diabetes can be a shock. And for many others, the changes that we frequently propose in terms of lifestyle or even starting medications when one has never had to take any can be exceptionally challenging. However, it is important to know that all healthcare professionals, including your doctors, the nurses, the dietitians, and everyone that works with people with diabetes are there to support you through the journey. Making even very small changes can go a long way. And we always have to bear in mind that the best diet and best change in terms of activity levels is the one that a person can sustain in the long term. We know that weight loss does work very well in managing type 2 diabetes. Sometimes, when people lose enough weight, they can even reverse their type 2 diabetes or, as we say, put it in complete remission. When we make changes in diet and activity levels towards managing glucose levels in the bloodstream, we always need to make sure that those changes are good enough for us personally and that they are sustainable in the longer term in order to achieve the routing and the consistency that will help you longer term. Why do people develop type 2 diabetes? We do know that gaining weight makes us more insulin resistant and predisposes us to developing type 2 diabetes. That is how we also know that by losing weight we can reverse type 2 diabetes. There are factors like genetic predisposition, ethnicity, environmental factors, and certainly changes in lifestyle. The reason we want to support people to control blood glucose levels when they develop type 2 diabetes is to keep them well and to avoid potential diabetes complications. Diabetes complications can develop as quickly as after five years of diagnosis. Diabetes complications may be macrovascular or complications that come from big blood vessels in the body that can precipitate things like heart attacks and strokes, or microvascular complications. These are complications that come from affected small blood vessels in, in the body. Small blood vessels in the body supply nerves in the feet, supply the kidneys, and supply the back of the eye. All these complications can be avoided or far postponed in the context of type 2 diabetes when people are supported to manage their glucose levels. Thank you for watching this video and I hope it has been helpful.